ISIS rather is claiming responsibility this morning for deadly peristyle terror attacks that rocked Indonesia's capital. Looking at witness video capturing gunfire and apparent suicide bomb explosions, targeting foreigners at a Starbucks and a shopping area. Seven people are dead, including five of the attackers. Police battled for almost three hours before the fighting ended there. Seth Doan is following this unfolding story from Beijing. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Indonesia has raised its security alert to the highest level, and its president is calling this an act of terror. The explosions, this one outside a Starbucks, rocked a busy part of central Jakarta, an area packed with offices, luxury hotels, and not far from Indonesia's presidential palace. The gruesome aftermath was in places too graphic to show. Suddenly the explosion went off at the police post. This witness said, I saw people running away and two people lying on the ground bleeding. Heavily armed security forces responded and a gun battle broke out, apparently between attackers and police. Indonesian authorities tell us the assailants rode motorbikes and used both grenades and guns. Christian Hubel is an advertising executive living in Jakarta. It looked pretty serious, so it looked like a terrorist attack or something like that. But we saw there were multiple explosions and, and uh, a lot of people were running away. Indonesia has the world's largest Muslim population and has battled Islamic extremism. This is the first major attack in Jakarta since two hotels were bombed in 2009. In 2002, more than 200 people were killed in a bombing on the Indonesian island of Bali. Indonesian authorities had recently received warnings of an attack from the Islamic State. When I was in Indonesia earlier this month, I saw stepped-up security at sites popular with tourists. Charlie? Thanks, Seth.